Welcome back. I've been doing all these great heart rate variability resonant breathing videos, as you may have noticed, and many people are using them every day and really enjoying them. It's wonderful. And so I use a term there in the video, the holy trinity of breath. And I want to get into that. I want to have one video dedicated to that so we can explore it a little bit and know what it is. So let's get into it. So we're trying to create resonant breathing. We're trying to create resonance between the heartbeat and the breath and putting those two in sync so that they both go up and then they both go down together. That is what heart rate variability resonance is. It's very simple, right? It's not complicated. Breath goes in, heart rate goes up. Breath goes out, heart rate goes down. But to induce that resonance, we need a set of rules. And sometimes I hear people talking about this resonance and they don't quite know how it works. How do you actually get into it? And this is it. This is how you actually get into it with three very simple rules. One of them might work, but we're going to box ourselves in making sure that we got all the necessary rules and these are it. It's the holy trinity of breath, as I call it. And so the first rule is that the breath has to be low. It has to be a long, slow breath, easy breath. And it has to be under seven breaths per minute. So that's the very first rate. You go on that list, you find seven breaths per minute. It's kind of fast, isn't it? For a lot of people, that's fast. But if you're a beginner, it might not be fast. That might be what is comfortable and that's perfect. It's not a competition. We just want the breath, which is comfortable for you and, and me. <laughs> Number two, we wanna make sure that the out breath is longer than the in breath. And this is really the heart of the whole thing. The out breath has to be longer because that out breath is where the diaphragm is up and all that pressure comes on the dorsal vagal nerve and it sends a signal to the medulla. Hey, let's slow things down. There's lots of pressure. And that's when everything inches down, the heartbeat inches down and the breath gets longer. That's what we want. So that out breath longer by one second or two seconds or three seconds or four seconds or five seconds, any of those are good. So if you feel like I, I want to breathe out longer even than, than is on the video for us, great, do it. It's a wonderful way to induce that resonance, to induce that resonance between the breath and the heart, both of them working in unison. That's what we're inducing. And that's what you're getting when you make sure that out breath is longer. And number three, we don't want to pause a lot at the top or at the bottom of the breath. We want to make sure we continue in the cycle and we get that heart rate variability. Now, if you pause and you hold the breath, now you're doing a hold. That's another good thing, but it's separate from the heart rate variability. So maybe now you're stacking technology. That's okay. But in the beginning, just get the, the heart rate variability First, make that your, your number one thing at the base of your pyramid. Make sure it's in there. And then you can move on to breath holds. All right, if you like breath holds. I love breath holds. They're great. They're really good for deepening meditation. But add that after the base. So number three, make sure you don't pause at the top and don't pause at the bottom. Now, you don't want to rush, right? You don't have to, oh my God, I have to breathe in. Oh my God, I have to breathe out. Don't rush, but just don't pause too long and continue that easy breathing with the out breath longer every time. And those three rules form the holy trinity of breath that's really going to induce heart rate variability resonance between the breath and the heart easily and effortlessly. That's what we want. We want, some, we want something that we can come to and get our result 
every single time. And that's what those rules are. And you don't even have to know those rules. You can just watch the video and breathe along with it and you will induce the heart rate variability resonance. So when that happens, well done, good job. So I hope you loved this video. If you did, be sure to hit that bell down below so I can see all